Sifu, are you all set for another dose of style? Well then, listen up. Fashion fads, expensive trends, or copying dusro ki style is completely banned. Style police special agents are in place, totally ready for action. क्या है the latest, coolest, hottest stylish developments? Sare investigations ki confidential reports coming right up. Hi, it's Priyanka Chopra, and I've been arrested on style police, and now it's confession time. I like colors, like I like bright colors, like my skirt right now, it's bright. Um, but at the same time, sometimes I could go all black. It depends on my mood. Really. The little black dress, a must-have for all you girls. Let's add a little bit of spunk and fun to it. Today we will tell you that you can make boring white canvas shoes so funky and cool. What What is going on in your mind? Well, see, we are here at the, uh, the, at the magazine party which talks about for him. So we have to be really, really good looking and gorgeous because it's all about guys and their uh, temptations. So we got to look sexy here. Right from the most beautiful designer clothes to funky accessories, this place has everything. First up, Style Police Interrogation Cell may get a super hot Bollywood bombshell. Kabhi fun or flirty, to kabhi elegantly sexy. Attitude, confidence, or tear sara oomph, she's got it all. It's confession time, PC style. Hi, this is Priyanka Chopra, and I've been arrested on Style Police, and now it's confession time. Style to me is comfort. Um, it's very important to be comfortable in what you're wearing, and if you're not comfortable, you shouldn't be wearing it. I think attitude makes more of a part. You can wear a bag for all that matters and you'd look stylish if you carry it off with a plum. My most stylish film was because my character was a fashion um, editor, which was Dostana. So she was always dressed up. Um, that was my most stylish film. I would love to do a period film. A period film just for a look, you know, to look different. and um, Something that we wouldn't do conventionally. Well, I'm always dressed up according to the characters that I play in the films that I do. But besides that, if I'm going for an event or if I'm dressed up for something, my personal style is very um, simple. I like straight lines and I like um, good cuts. I like colors. Like, I like bright colors. Like my skirt right now, it's bright. Um, but at the same time, sometimes I could go all black. It depends on my mood, really. I hate, uh, you know, dresses which have uh, no shape at all, or especially like um, dresses which are like from underbust like that, which make you look like a baby doll. I don't like those at all. Whether it's 2012 or 2020, I think the one, five things that you really need to have in your wardrobe is a pair of jeans that fit you really well, a white shirt, which looks really nice on you, a black dress, uh, which you can wear when you can't think of anything else to wear, a really great watch, which would go with most of your outfits, and a great pair of heels. I like people who um, stick to their own personality with uh, their style. Marilyn Monroe was somebody who dressed really well according to what she is. Angelina Jolie. Um, and in India, I like the way Preeti Zinta dresses. I think she dresses really well. My favorite fashion decade, I would say, would be the 60s. Um, it was lovely with you know, the silvar kurtas, which were really tight and fitted in India. And, and at the same time, there was uh, the 70s coming in with the whole flower child movement. That was really nice. My red carpet rule is that you have to make sure that the outfit is something that makes you stand out. It's not something that everyone would be wearing. And simple makeup and um, hair that complements your outfit. And just standing tall and looking the best that you can. I'm not a big shopper. I like people shopping for me. If I had to say, I would say London or New York. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, my best fashion moment, which is really silly, it had nothing to do with the clothes, was, was when I won Miss World. I was wearing a Hema Triveti gown, and uh, when that crown came on my head, I think I, it was just fabulous. I think the biggest fashion faux pas a girl can commit would be wearing too many accessories. You know, there has to be one thing when you get dressed up which should catch your attention, not six. So you can't wear earrings and necklace and, you know, a colorful outfit and colorful shoes and that's a big faux pas. 
I think guys should be effortless and scruffy. That's when they look their best. Or when they're formally dressed, then clean and uh, should smell good. <laughs> Um, well, from films, if I had to think of my contemporaries, Sona, because I think she experiments really well with all the clothes that she wears. So I think she would be one person who pops into my head when I think of the word stylish. Apart from films, I would say Rihanna is somebody who pops into my head when I say stylish. I love her style. It goes with her personality and who she is. So I think definitely her. All right, Natasha, I have confessed. Now, please let me go out of arrest. I've said everything truthfully, I swear. All right, Miss Chopra, for honest confessions, ke liye Style Police aap ko karti hai by Izzat Bari. Rock on, girl, because you are fabulous. Now, ladies, a wardrobe must have. The classic LBD, yani the little black dress. So what if I say that a little black dress ho sakta hai convert into not one, not two, but three stylish avatars? Now, wow! This even I need to see. So let's go and meet style agent Swati at the new fashion stop, The Sauce. There's that one essential in your wardrobe. That one thing that you can wear seven days a week. What is it? The LBD. The little black dress, a must-have for all you girls. Let's add a little bit of spunk and fun to it. The first look I've created for you today is a rock chic look. For that, you just need a basic leather jacket, which has many zippers as we have in ours. And just to add to the whole look, we have this neck piece here, which has tassels and metallic elements in it, which just adds to the whole look the rock shake look. And don't worry if you don't have a jacket. You can always borrow it from the world. And when it comes to the rock shake look, think Michael Jackson. No one got it as right as he did. Colors like bubblegum pink, sorbet orange, and lemon yellow are the colors you like, then the next look is for you, Candy Pop. We have accessorized the little black dress for this look with a nice pink jacket, ankle length orange colored boots. We went OTT with the accessories. We have nice bangles and rings, and of course, my favorite, the little camera. The next look is vintage. Think classy, think sexy. Think Audrey Hepburn. For this look, we have a fantabulous fur jacket, which can be tied at the waist. We have chunky jewelry with it, and just to add to the look, we have nice polka dot shoes. And to top it off, if you want to be the one who wants to be noticed out there, we have the perfect fascinator for you. girls go out there and experiment with that LBD with plenty more looks. Just one last tip, be Bindas or Style Police is gonna get you. So you like that, didn't you? Now you want something is be rather awesome? Check this out. Today we will tell you ये बोरिंग वाइट कैनवस शूज को इतने फंकी और कूल कैसे बना सकते हैं
डिड यू नो कि वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट थिंग्स पीपल नोटिस अबाउट यू इज आपके जूते तो एक कूल पंखी फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन बनाना है तो पे क्लोज अटेंशन स्टाइल पुलिस ने रेड किया फंक स्पेशलिस्ट अल्फा क्यूब का अड्डा थिंक वाइल्ड थिंक वैकी थिंक टी आई वाई टूट योर साफ डाले Hi, I'm Zain Ali, and I'm Azra, and together we're, we're Alpha Cube, your one-stop spot for custom apparel and merchandising. We have a few products, like the canvas paintings, custom shoes, or our latest product, these really cool hand-painted shades. Today, we'll tell you that you can make these boring white canvas shoes so funky and cool. So, what you basically need are these simple white shoes, which are easily available anywhere. For just two fifty, हम सब इसको स्कूल में पहने हैं, and they are very easily available. Besides that, all you need is uh, a pencil and a few paint brushes and some paints. And with your creativity, you're all set to go. So the first thing you need to do is decide on a design that you want to make on your shoes. After that, to make a rough sketch like this before you actually draw on the shoes, so that you know exactly what you want to make. Basically, you need to make sure that when you're drawing, you draw it a little light, so that it's easier to paint on and cover up any mistakes that you might make while you're drawing. यहाँ पर हमने बनाया है एक tree और उसके बाजू में clouds है. So I'm finally done drawing the shoes. Hopefully, Azra will make a little bit better now with her face. So over to her. All right, so let's have some fun with colors. You can use uh, whichever colors you like, any of your favorite colors, bright colors. Uh, I'm using acrylic fabric paint. These are easily available anywhere. You can uh, get them at any art shop. So you should always have a few different sizes for the brushes for like the detailing, a thinner brush. Um, I'm going to start with painting the tree. I'm done with the tree, but um, so I'm gonna add a few highlights. Thoda or color dalke make it more lively. So just add a few strokes here and there. I'm adding uh, orange to brown since it's the same family, so it will mix well. Main thing, the tree is done. अभी मेरे को एक क्लाउडी इफेक्ट चाहिए तो आई एम डू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ शेडिंग आई एम टू मिक्स ब्लू एंड वाइट इट्स ऑलवेज एडवाइजेबल टू पेंट द बेस फॉर All right, so we are finally done with the painting. So I've used bright colors because I'm quite excited about the year. And all that's left to do is the outlining now. So let's hand it over to Zen. Now, after the paint, the shoe looks a little rough. But uh, once you outline it, it defines everything on the shoe. Whatever you have drawn, whatever you have painted. That's it. Our shoes are now ready. Funky, pimped up. From boring canvas shoes to funky feet. Okay, so now that we're done with the shoes, another way to spice them up is by using funky laces. Normally, you tie them in a crisscross boring style, but uh, today I'll show you another way to tie your laces that will make your feet look more funky. As you saw today, uh, making these shoes is really simple. It just takes three basic steps: draw, paint, and then outline. Um, you can do a lot of things to make your shoes more funky, like uh, put glitter on them, uh, use cutouts of different fabrics, different photographs, whatever you want. You can paste on them. So I'll give you some simple tips to do that. When you feel like washing your shoes, you don't need to put them in a washing machine or send them to a laundry. All you need to do is take a bucket of water, put some soap detergent and soak it in for four or five hours, after which you can remove it and dry it outside or indoors.
ब्राइट स्पार्कली स्माइल आज के जमाने में वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट लेकिन अगर आप होती सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी इटली की फैशन कॉन्शियस दीवा तो शायद आपके दांत होते कलरफुल क्योंकि इट वॉज कंसिडर्ड वेरी फैशनेबल टू हैव कलर टीव दैन कैन यू इमेजिन योर टीव बींग pink and blue and green i am undercover and style police is raiding the fhm models line at urban paint in delhi naam hai lamil दिल्ली के बीच हमेशा होती रहती है द बिग फाइट बट कौन सी सिटी है इंडिया का स्टाइल सेंटर क्या है हॉटर मुंबई का लेट बैग इजी फैशन या दिल्ली की फॉर्मल सोफिस्टिकेशन वेल मैंने डिसाइड किया टू हिट दिल्ली माय सेल्फ टू चेक आउट द सिटी स्टाइल क्वेश्चन द वेन्यू अर्बन पिंट द ओकेजन द एफएचएम पार्टी एंड द वर्ल्ड इट खुद ही देख लो Undercover and style police is raiding the FHM Models Line at Urban Paint in Delhi. It is freezing cold here, but I hope it hasn't dampened the spirits of people to step out in their stylish best. We're here with the owner of FHM Magazine, Kabir. Kabir, hi. Hi. Okay, tell me. Um, What led you to conduct the FJ Models Night here every week? I don't think there's any provocation for having a party. Tell me, has winter uh, restricted a lot of people from coming out and partying? Not really. I think you are out here. You have a hat on. You'll have your gloves on. That's right. But you'll still be out partying. Tell me, what does FHM stand for? Uh, FHM stands for For Him Magazine. It's at the end of the day a magazine for the man. It's so cold. Everyone around is in jackets and blazers and their woolens. You have braved this chilly winter night and wearing this very beautiful dress. What what is going on in your mind? Well, see, we are here at the at the, at the magazine party, which talks about for him. So we have to be really, really good looking and gorgeous because it's all about guys and their uh, temptations. So we got to look sexy here. But you know what? I think uh, all of girls will agree that we want to look nice for ourselves and less for boys. I have spotted another stylish lady here. Somebody with a very interesting headgear. Emma, hi. Hi. How are you? Very good. Thank you. I must compliment you on the headgear that you're wearing. Can you tell me the maddest thing that you wore? The maddest thing. Um, A bikini to a party, yes. Only a bikini, yes. Let me. Lastly, who's your style icon? Lady Gaga. She's so unique. I love her style. She is mixing it up. No one has ever done that before. That's what I love. I found a Yamla Bagla Jut. Hi. Hi. My name is Jasveer. Jasveer, you have a long jacket on and you have a scarf on your head. अकेले आप हो पूरे पार्टी में जिसने एक लंबा जैकेट पहना है चल मी आप जब जनरली बाहर जाते हो डू ड्रेस अप लाइक दिस यस मैं जब भी बाहर जाता हूं एक लंबा जैकेट पहनता हूं क्योंकि मैं लंबा हूं तो आपके हिसाब से लड़कियों को कैसे ड्रेस अप करना चाहिए सॉर्ट्स गर्ल्स या इट्स अ वेरी गुड फॉर द गर्ल्स यू नो इन विंटर्स आल्सो या इन विंटर आल्सो यू नो देखा नहीं मैं जैकेट पर सोच कर से से वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फॉर गर्ल्स ये है आज का मर माय सेल्फ ओके ओके आई स्पॉट इट द वेरी बिंदास काशिफ या हु इज द ओनर ऑफ दिस वेरी बिंदास क्लब लाउंज अर्बन पिन हाय काशिफ हाय टेल मी व्हाई डिड यू नेम दिस प्लेस अर्बन पिन बिकॉज़ We are like a global place here. If you come here on a Thursday night, you get to see people from all over the world. So tell me, what sort of style quotient do you see around in your club? See, I think it's um, 
people who make the place up. The place has a philosophy that we want people young at heart. It can be a 50 year person who's young at heart partying here. It can be a legally 25 year old person partying here. So that's the whole thing. Style Police agrees with Kashif that being young at heart is indeed the most stylish thing. After rating this place, it's time for me to rate this place. I give this party a 6 for its turnout, a 7 for its style quotient, but an 8 for the spirit of people since they have stepped out on this chilly night. Well, my qu my thirst for style still hasn't been quenched, so why don't you join me in my quest for more and more and more style. Delhi ka style quotient hai Mumbai se hatke. But just as classy. And Delhi ki sardi so so chilly. So, kya hai Style Police ka next target destination? How about this gorgeous place right here? Naam hai La Mill. And in USP, everything fashionable. So, shall we? Right from the most beautiful designer clothes to funky accessories. Sundar se Sundar jewellery and even some totally cool and classy furniture and some oh so cute stationery. This place has everything. Style hair forever changing, forever reinventing. So, this hafte kya hai style police mandate? Roll with the times, honey. Go wild, go crazy, and hamesha yaad rakho ki life hai very, very short. So, dream big, live it up, and do it with style. Because style nahi, kuch nahi. You look amazing, not like you need to. I was this much. And um, a little message for how, until they've lost the weight, how can they keep it stylish? What's your recommended look for people who are in the middle of losing their weight? I always wear clothes a little too short, so I feel fat, so I go back and exercise. Rahul Bose is looking absolutely amazing. Tell me who you're wearing. Who am I wearing? Uh, Pratap. I, I, Pratap and Nari are my favorite designers, so. This is Pratap. That's amazing. And uh, have you ever had any sort of crazy crash dieting in your life? Have you ever tried a diet? Well, uh, you know, I've never dieted in my life. What people don't realize is losing weight and the correct weight is 80% diet and 20% exercise. That's very true. You, may, you make your body in your kitchen, basically. Yes, although I don't step into the kitchen, so I make my body on the dining table. And is there one sinful food you don't think you could ever give up, no matter what? Shami kebabs. I'm about to find out whether or not my weight is going to make me happy. Let's see. And yes, I'm at my happy weight. Fingers crossed I stay that way. Gorgeous gold Panag. How are you, girl? I'm very well, Malini. Thank you. What, who are you wearing today? You always look stunning. Um, I think this is a, a top from a shirt, rather, from Zara or Mango. I don't know the difference. It's always the same. <laughs> And these jeans are from Baramoda, I think. Have you ever been on a diet? Have you tried any diets? Um, I think I'd lie if I say I haven't been on a diet, but I would, I think I would, I would correct it to say I'm on a, a lifestyle of eating correctly for my body because it's the only one I've got. What's a quick fix? How do you make yourself look super hot in just a few days? I think too much salt and too much sugar are not good for you medically, and if you were to sort of stay away from them, you'd be all right. here with the lovely Kali Puri. So tell me a bit about this book. What is your favorite confession in this book? My favorite confession in this book is that actually thin people lie. Really? Yes. What do they lie about? Most of the time they lie about the fact that, oh, they're not really doing anything. You know, they don't really watch their weight. They don't really eat butter chicken every night. Yeah. It's a lie. Anyone who's looking good is working at it. I love your outfit. Tell us about the dress. You were saying your stylist picked something awesome out for you. Who's it by? So my stylist is my friend and we just actually walked into a shop and I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I love it. It was the last piece. It's by some Japanese designer called Saba. If you could have one celebrity body out there, who would it be? 
well with this with uh, you know I think it would be Anushka Sharma I love her torso I love her height I keep saying this if you're short you can't do anything about it if you're fat you can always become thin so Anushka is both she's tall and she's thin you can win two copies of this book one of course in style police on Vindas and the second one on Miss Malini all you have to do is answer this one question what's the question so what is your diet confession? Let's hear it from you now. So send it in, we're waiting. Now here's a book that's gonna be hard to put down, Confessions of a Serial Dieter by Kali Puri. And remember, you can win yourself a copy right here on Style Police and on MissMalini.com. But it's time for me to run, I'm running off to royalty. And I'm sorry, I can't always take you everywhere I go. But remember, you can follow me for all the action at Miss Malini on Twitter and log on to my blog, MissMalini.com. One celebs ki diet secrets ho chuki hai exposed. Well done, Agent Malini. And you guys, don't forget that contest. Kya hai aapka diet confession? Pejo interesting jawab and the book is all yours. Well, that's it for today. Lekin don't forget ki Stan Police ki secret spies hai all over. So guys, I am always watching you. Cause style nahi, to kuch nahi.